Hello, this is Kaki Lee and welcome to the Abundant Goddess Show, where I'll be sharing daily bite-sized pearls of wisdom I've picked up along my life journey that has allowed me to embrace and unleash my inner abundant goddess. And that's exactly what I want for you, to embrace and unleash your inner abundant goddess. I love talking about anything and everything to do with life, but I especially love talking about money, mindset and energy, which is the main focus here. If you like what you hear, make sure you subscribe to my show so you don't miss out on your daily dose of wisdom for myself. And also follow me and let me know what you think on Facebook and Instagram at Abundance with Kaki Lee. Now let's get into it. Welcome to the Abundant Goddess Show. Today's pearl of wisdom is choose again. I want to remind you that every single thing in your life, you can choose again in an instant. You are not stuck in one place. You are not stuck with the way that you are. You are not stuck with the way that you feel. You are not stuck with what you have. You are not stuck, but you can choose to be if you wish to, but you can also choose not to be if you wish to. So often I hear people say, that's just who I am, or that's just how it is, or I can't change or what would other people think? All these things you can choose again. It is hard. Some of the decisions are very hard. Not saying that it's easy, but you have the power within you to choose again at any given point in time. Any second of the day that you are in, you have the opportunity to choose again. If you're in a toxic relationship, You have the power to choose to leave. Yes, it may be really hard. I've been in a toxic relationship before. But I look back and I think, wow, there were so many opportunities for me to choose to leave, but I didn't. I chose to stay. At the end of the day, it was me that allowed myself to be disrespected in that way. Obviously, when you're in the situation, it doesn't seem like that. Why did that person do it to me? Why is the victim mentality of why is this happening to me? Rather than why is it happening for me so that I know the power that I have, the power that I have to choose a better life, a better circumstance, a better situation. (sighs) So I really just want to remind you today that you have power You have all the power within you to make the choices that you want. It's just a matter of whether you want to. So stop playing the victim and saying that it is out of your control, out of your ability, out of whatever it is, any other excuse that you have. Just know that if you want to make a change, you can. And when you say it's too hard, why is it too hard? Is it because you're scared of what other people think? And yes, there might be circumstances where you might be scared for your safety, but there's always a way. Like my one of my favorite people, my favorite um, mentors, mentors, Marie Folio says, everything is figure outable. No matter how bad the situation, everything is figure outable. You can figure it out something there's always a solution is when you are open to the solution when you are open to the universe giving you the signs and the path and opening up the path the magic happens i don't know if you heard the story where this um lady is stuck in a tree and she's like telling asking god for help and so someone walks past and says oh do you need help and she's like no no I don't need help. And then the helicopter comes and the fire engine comes. Everyone's wanting to help her get off that tree. And then, and then what happens? She does, she rejects everyone's help. And then she dies. And she gets to heaven and she asks God, Why didn't you save me? I asked. I asked for you to save me. And he's like, Well, I sent you like a team of people multiple times to come and help you. But you've rejected all my 
all the times that I wanted to help you? Are you there? Is that where you are at at the moment? Is, is it because you're not willing to make that choice, even though all the choice is in front of you? If you want to make a change in your life, have a look at where you are at at the moment. Look at what is happening around you and see if there is that light at that tunnel that you're supposed to follow that is opened up for you, but you're refusing to see the light. So my take-home message today is really make the choice to create the life that you want, to make create the situation, to create the environment that you want because you always have a choice. You can always choose again. And that's the end of the show. Please remember to share this episode with anyone that needs a reminder to choose again. Before I go into my usual spiel, I am calling in women who have an awakening and transformational story to share in my latest multi-author book project, The Awakened Feminine, Stories of Women Awakening to Who They Truly Are. If that is you, contact me on Facebook or Instagram or email. If you like what you heard, make sure you subscribe to my show and remember to follow me over at Facebook or Instagram at Abundance with Kaki Lee to connect with me and let me know what you think of the episode. If you're interested in working with me, learning from me on how to create generational wealth and trading or spirit, you know, spiritual development, if you like what you heard, make sure you subscribe to my show and remember to follow me over at Facebook or Instagram at Abundance with Kaki Lee to connect with me and let me know what you think of the episode. Lastly, if you're interested in working with me or learning from me about creating generational wealth or creating money on the stock market or being part of my multi-author book project then send me a dm on facebook or instagram or email me at hello at kakilee.com